Hi, we're, we're those two Brits. Today we're going to talk about what we loved and hated about Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. double check. Nashville, North Ten Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> and I was about to say Tennessee. Ten you always said that on the Tennessee it was trip. So annoying. Tennessee. Say. Why did I say Tennessee? <laughs> it's Tennessee. Tennessee. I see Tennessee. It's like the bougie way that they say Tennessee. Tennessee. It's like they're like hillbilly and they're like, no, I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee. To make them sound more oh, fancy. That's why it's Hannah Montana that made me do it. <laughs> okay. Well. So. You guys will remember, we went to, it feels like a lifetime ago. Oh, it was a lifetime, it was in my past life. Yeah. Wasn't it when Bitcoin was like through the roof? Yeah, it was November. When November opened, the day America opened to Brits, we flew from Toronto, because we were in Toronto at the time, because Canada let us in early. What a celeb And we existence. flew from Toronto so, to Nashville. Wasn't that amazing? That, I didn't even remember the flight. I don't remember the flight, but that was the first trip that we've done where we got taken for secondary questioning. But <gasps> they didn't question us. Hey. They took our passports away. He took us into another room. We sat there being like, what is going on? Yeah. He called us up and was like, what are you traveling for? And we were like, just fun. And he was like, okay. Gave us our passports back and we left. And we were like, okay, that was easy. Oh, okay. But then yeah. it was the next time, which we'll get onto in another video, yeah. where they actually grilled us, searched our luggage. Oh, day. I remember the luggage search, yes. Yeah. My mind's gone fuzzy about the first time we got questioned, because I can't remember what mm. the room looked like. I can't remember what happened. I think as well, it was just, they were suspicious because it was like, we were, we were Brits. Coming to America on the day it opened to Britain, but from in Canada, Canada. Yeah. and I think they were just a bit like, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, wow. But anyway, we landed anyway. in Nashville, first time ever in Tennessee. In Tennessee, for the first time. And one of the things that we loved, I think, was like the culture in terms of the music and yeah. the fact that it felt like perhaps struggling artists had been there and mm. made something of themselves or just still struggling but loving life. Yeah. And I just love that vibe of you know, go here because you want to make something of yourself in the country scene. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely the vibes. And we say vibe all the time. You'll know if you've been here a long time, not my vibe, vibe. is a <laughs> quote of ours. We've got it on t-shirts. Not my vibe. But the vibe there, there was no other way to describe it other than vibe is just yeah, like vibe great. so good. And yeah, like you yeah. said, I think it was the creativity. Everyone who's there, at like living there, is like very creative. They're working, they're hustling. Yeah. And then we as the tourists just get to come and enjoy all their creativity. And yeah, like, it was brilliant. It's amazing. Absolutely loved that. Yeah, as Joel said, it is just a vibe. You've just yeah. got to go there to feel the vibe the in sounds Nashville. on Broadway. Was it the called Broadway? Sound. The sound. The but sound. The sound. The voice. The sound. The but do you remember when we first went there and we yeah. were like, oh my gosh, this is a racket. There's music coming from every bar, but like, weirdly it just sounded incredible. Yeah, I remember it now. You were just like, where do I go? Which and bar now... do I go to? <laughs> and now as we walk down the street in Reading, we're like, whoa, we're going to be back in Nashville where the I lights know. and like the lit up guitars and the, the windows of the shops completely all open. Yeah. So you're like, how does this shop ever close? Does it ever close? Or is it 24 hour music place? It's yeah. just, it's so inviting. Every bar is quite inviting. Yeah, we went to one honky tonk in particular <laughs> that everywhere was full, but this yeah. one was empty upstairs. And I kind of get why, because the musicians weren't fantastic. Yeah. But they were still good and we had a great time and yeah. we tried our first bushwhacker. Oh, we had a bushwhacker. That was so good. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be inserting clips of all of this so you can see and follow along. Follow along if you haven't already seen the <laughs> videos. Feel free to go click back on our channel and search mm -hmm. for Those Two Brits Nashville and enjoy some of those videos if you haven't already. Yeah. And do subscribe if you're enjoying this video because we post videos thrice weekly. We and also have memberships so if you want extra content from us like bonus behind the scenes, scenes chats, days out, things gossip. like that, gossip, then it's $1 a month, less than $1, 99 yeah. cents a month. But anyway, that's... The That's a bit of a parish notices. <laughs> right, back to Nashville, and I think we'll both agree on this. One thing that we found quite strange was when we walked into the shop, and it was like a tourist shop that was a bit like guns, 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 and yeah. they had like belts that said like the right to bear arms on it, and it was all a bit like... Yeah. It just felt a bit strange, didn't it, for us? Well, what's weird is that it feels very liberal in terms of like artists and creative. Usually creatives and artists are very liberal. liberal. And I can think of all the, like Dolly Parton, liberal, Taylor yeah. Swift, liberal. liberal, like so many of them, I know there are more than just those two, but yeah. I feel like they tend to be liberal, but then it seemed like a very conservative 
conservative, like in terms of yeah, the guns, the yeah, like, just very Republican. Strange, right? Very strange. It's like almost as if one end of the strip was very like creative, 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 and then you keep strolling down. You get down to where the Hard Rock Cafe is. You go to a gift shop, and you're like, sorry, am I in, <laughs> am I in a different state? Yeah. Because I just feel like I've walked into conservative America. Yeah, it's very like, weird. Why to bear arms? Don't mess with it. Not don't mess with Texas, but it reminded me of the don't mess with Texas yeah. vibe in some of the gift shops. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. So we couldn't quite place, is this a conservative area or is it a liberal area? And based on the comments, lots of people, when I say personally for me, Nashville is the favorite place that I've been to in America, people are like, why as a gay man, why would you ever like, they're so like homophobic. Really? But I didn't get that vibe there because it did no. feel very liberal and we felt very comfortable there. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mostly. So like, remember when we got on a, did we get on a bus and we headed mm. to near where Taylor Swift is yeah. living and we noticed that like suddenly everyone there was wearing masks and yeah. like on the strip they weren't and mm. it was like there was different pockets of Nashville that felt a little bit more had different personalities to the other yeah and I, I never at one point felt like oh there's loads of people here that giving me homophobic vibes I no. never felt that no. not that I would feel it but you know I just didn't yeah. get that sense from the people no and I didn't see anyone with guns no you know like sometimes we're in the supermarket there, there was the things on the doors though saying no guns allowed in a shop which our British brains are like well duh like well, that's like saying don't kill anyone it's like, well, obviously. <laughs> but then we're like, oh no, that oh must God. be because in some states you're allowed to take, take guns the gun. in the shops. Yeah. Like in the supermarket, seeing yeah. someone with the guns, you're Crazy. like, not a gun in your back pocket in a supermarket. Yeah. Like, what's going to happen in a supermarket? Yeah, stop. We're not living in the Wild West. We're really not. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, the different pockets of Nashville were nice and we, yeah. well, the Country Music Awards were on while we were there. That's why it was so electric it as well. It was so it was electric. Buzzing. The excitement of Good Morning America being set up. Up, yeah. everyone in town for the country music yeah. awards it was really cool there was like rooftop bars we went to and we just felt like it was definitely somewhere we'd want to go back and spend mm. more time there so it was really really cool and what else what did you say we didn't like i don't think we had a great time with food there but that's not unusual for us in, the, in america is it we don't yeah. we never really find amazing food do we the only place was the first place we went for a sat i had a cob salad i'm not sure what you have but remember the Most first bar salmon. we went into probably salmon. salmon we loved it so much we went back there for a meal again yeah and that was really nice but other than that yeah the food i don't think was brilliant no what else didn't we like about Nashville? the trouble is i really loved it so i can't really think of what i didn't like i think the open top bus tour was good but the fact is that once you're off the strip there wasn't much more to see once you're off the strip there was That's a true. few like there was a few little places of interest not yeah. really no i just felt like oh we'd walked along the most interesting parts yeah um, but if you were hardcore like history into American mm. stuff then I guess it would be quite exciting but like, oh I learned yeah. about that in school and well if we didn't have a packed schedule because after that we went to Orlando and then on to Miami for a conference but if we weren't it would have been nice to drive into the Smoky Mountains oh that would be so good and see more of Tennessee maybe drive to Knoxville and see Elvis's house go yeah. somewhere else and see Dollywood yeah um, so I think there's lots to do in Tennessee that we were sad that we didn't get a chance to do agree solid agree there yeah so the downside is Elvis is nowhere near now Nashville. Yeah, no way. <laughs> or Dollywood. It's <laughs> so true. I think that's just one of the things with with any time we're anywhere in America, we're like, oh, everything's just so far away. Go on. Negative. Go on. The severe lack of brunch places. Oh my gosh, it was like one pace, another broken egg. Yeah. That was it. That was it. it was so and that was off the strip. We had to go and ask someone, where do we go for brunch? And they were like, Oh, I don't, like, they just didn't know, really. I don't even think they knew what brunch was. Oh, no, don't be so <laughs> ridiculous. No, but I think that they go for breakfast and they, but then even then I'm like, where do they go for breakfast? Because we're walking down the strip going, it's just the bars, like. It was just bar, barbecue, barbecue bar. Yeah. Evening food. There was no, yeah. like, eggs, avocado on toast. Yeah, we wanted to smash that with a bit of cheese. With a legs. chia seed smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> but instead we went to another broken egg, which was delicious, but it was more of a... Greasy spoon. Greasy spoon rather than a bougie brunch place. Yeah, it was a greasy spoon, not a silver spoon. Not that we're into silver spoon, but, but yeah. Biscuit love. The queue was oh. so big that we ended up going to the British place for food. Oh so. my gosh, yes, I'm getting a flashback now. I'm yeah. getting a flashback. Biscuit love. 
that was in like that sort of different neighborhood. Yeah. We went across to that terrible pub. Yeah, yeah. awful pub. Awful. Yeah. God, awful. But overall, we really liked it. It would have been nice yeah. if the weather was a bit nicer because we had a lovely pool at our complex, but we never got a chance to use it. No, didn't even dip the feet in. No. What are we well, like? What are we like? Oh, well, next time, Nash Film. Yeah. Tenor sign. Thanks for having us, Tenor sign. Um, let us know if you guys have been to Nashville and your thoughts on it. Yes. And please subscribe if you're new here. We post videos Please, thrice weekly. weekly. We are those two Brits on social media. Go yeah. check us out. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.